This is the Kix Content Delivery Server Record Management Tutorial. Starting from the listing page, we'll have a look at the contents of a file, the SAM file here. We're focused on Kix SMF46. We're putting a filter in there to bring up only records with um, the filter that you can see. You can see there are 16 of them. Uh, these all look to be records that we no longer no longer required, so I'm going to show you how to delete them as a group. And we require the bulk record management feature. So that's been started. Now if we go back to that directory listing, if we want to take all of the records that we've just found, we can use this drag and drop button here to take it to the bulk upload, drop it onto that space, and they've been transferred into the page. And there are 16 of them. And we can select them and deselect them with these buttons here. If we select them and then check, then naturally enough, they are all the same age as the same records we're trying to delete. So now we use the advanced function. function. And here we can click delete and confirm delete and then the delete button. And indeed, they are all deleted at that point. And if we go back to the directory listing and refresh it, then those records have now all been deleted. Okay, next we'll show you how to move specific records from one implementation of Kix Content Delivery Server to another. So here we're focused on the Kix AMF50 system. We'll look at the TM2 file. As you can see, there's only one record in there. It's a placeholder. If we now go to look at the records in uh, another implementation of Kik, Kik SMF 46 in this case, and we'll look at the COV file, there are currently three records in there, but we will only move one of them. So we'll, we'll use the search facility, we'll click that button there, and we'll say just search for JCL in in only the URL, we can look in a number of different places, but we'll say look for it only in the URL. We'll run the search, and it's found that record. Now, if we want to move this record, the results of a search one, we have to pick up this button here for drag and drop purposes. So again, we're going to move it into the bulk facility for the other region, the KKMF50 region, there it is. And now we will use that button on the right to drag and drop into that bulk record management facility, drop it there and it's in the page. And if we select it and check it, it's not been found. And that's because, on this occasion, because the file cop doesn't exist. So we need to change this record at the same time. So we're going to target the TM2 file. We will change the, the, the initial part of the route to TM2. If we click change, then we can see the before and the after. So that now, if we check it, we'll say not on server. So we'll save it. It has been saved. So if we now go back to the directory function for KKMF50 and look in the TM2 file, our placeholder is still there, obviously. And here is the record that we just moved. And of course, we can open that in in another tab. So that's how to move a single record from a search facility, but multiple records can be done too.